Welcome back, Lost Souls, Trolls, Assholes. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. I've been live all day. If you didn't know, you can probably catch them on the replays on Twitch or maybe YouTube. I'm not sure, but definitely Twitch. So make sure you are subscribed to my Twitch channel and my Facebook. Hey, Just Me Charms, Stephanie, Mary Jane, Chelsea. Jamie Jams. I'm on all three platforms right now. So if you're not subscribed to all three, then you're really missing out. If you're not subscribed to my Patreon, you're definitely missing out. I do private live streams on Sundays and Wednesdays and hit, hit or miss throughout the week. Hello, Mike. Hello, Savannah. Cheers. So anyways, make sure that you are subscribed to all of those, especially Patreon. And yeah, so tonight I hope you sell a few crosses. Um, I'm not sure. I just like I got a bunch of them done today. I got more than I thought I'd get done. Ah, Jillian, thank you. I always love your boxes. I look forward to it. Should I wait till birthday or I'll wait because my birthday. If you didn't know, is not this Sunday, next Sunday, the 16th. And I've been keeping like things to open for my birthday. So it's like a deal to me. I have nothing else going on in my life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I look forward to birthdays, 4th of July, Christmas, and Halloween. Something to open. Cool. All right. Hey, Val. So I got a lot of crosses done today. I got a bunch of Easter ones done, a few of the Gothic ones done. And I think you guys will really like the Gothic ones as well as the Easter crosses. Hey, Rosie. Mike, I see you. You don't have a fucking picture. I don't know you. I don't talk to guys like that off the internet. It's weird. I apologize, but no. Purple one. Yeah, I made a purple one, a couple purple ones, a couple pink ones. God, please, someone has to buy these. Like, I'm putting all this work into this as someone. I beg of you to buy them. I got a couple of good ones. I think they'll sell. Not necessary, Mike. I don't talk to guys off the internet. Thank you, but yeah. I get enough action in real life. I don't need to resort to the internet to find a date or anything like that. I will explain if you contact me privately. I, how in the fuck? Okay, bye. Boopa Fairy, what's up? Oh, where did my necklace go? I wore that gold necklace. I think I took it off. I think it's at a... So Roth got me a gold necklace for Christmas. I ended up getting wearing it. I think I took it off at Orange's house. I think that's where it has to be. Or it's beside my it's on my bedside table. That thing made my fucking neck itch. It was too tight. You know, like it, it like hung to like right here. I thought that was too close. Well, Mike, you can send me your private information via my PayPal or Cash App or Venmo. There you go. The links are in the chat. If you're serious, go ahead and send me it. And um, that's the fastest way to get a hold of me. Things. <sighs> Things are all right, I guess. As good as they can be.
as good as they can be. Yesterday, I felt like fucking shit all day. I don't know. I woke up. I made this breakfast burrito and from my freezer, and I ate it, and it made me really fucking sick. I just puked, and then it made my stomach queasy all day, and I didn't want to get off the couch. I just, I didn't sleep, but I just laid there. And then I got a little motivation. I took a shower, and I... Uh, I was blow drying my hair. My mom came over and was like, are you hungry? And I was like, I'm not really because my stomach hurts, but I should eat. And she had gotten, she had went to Kroger and she got picked up some of that, um, you know, the fried chicken and the deli or whatever. She got some of that and was warming it up. So I went over there. I ate like two bites of macaroni salad and ate little small chicken leg. And oh my God, I was like fucking sick. So fucking sick. I couldn't even do, I couldn't really even hold out for my damn Patreon live stream. Hey, Mindy. Yeah, today I ate. I can't remember what I ate, but I ate. I ate a Krabby or a couple bites of a Krabby. And I drank a lot of milk. Stomach's just been queasy, man. Yeah, so I could hardly do my live stream last night. I just didn't. I didn't fucking feel good, man. I couldn't like when I don't feel good. And you know how you know I don't feel good? I didn't drink. My stomach was so tore up. At one point, I was like, maybe that'll make you feel better. And then I got to thinking, and it it could make you feel a lot worse. Is it worth? Is it worth the gamble? My stomach already hurts, so I was like, ah, fuck it. And plus, I didn't have any motivation. None. Tammy Pool. Well, actually, she asked, and she's on Facebook. She says, "How is Doug doing?" I actually talked to him, and he said that um, so I guess the doctors have released him. He can drive, and I'm not sure if he can go back to work or not because he didn't answer that yet. But he said he can drive, and he was going back to his dad's house, getting his stuff, and going back home. His mom, I guess, is in the hospital right now because her append her appendix is something's wrong with her appendix or her gallbladder or something. So that's that, and I'm not sure from there. But the doctor released him to drive, so I'm gonna assume he's a lot better. Thank you, Val. Yep, there's my Facebook page if you guys want to check that out. I'm always there. By the way, I don't know if you know that. If you are one of my Patreons, do you know you guys can send me private messages and it alerts my phone? So that's another way of getting a hold of me as well. It like sends me a notification on my phone like it's an actual fucking message, like a text message. And then I click it and sends me right to the Patreon where you left it. So if you guys wonder why I answer you back so fast, it's because it's like it's a fucking text message. You have to download the app to really be able to navigate Patreon, I think. I use it on the desktop from like my phone, but I also use it the app on my phone as well. And for like posting or seeing posts, if you have the app, it'll give you notifications. No, but I'm going to strike it all. I'm going to get those channels shut down. Hope not either. I hope not either. I mean, I wouldn't think if he was getting released to drive that he has any loss of like arms or legs. I don't know though. 
Like, he's, like, real short with me. Who's here? Who's here, Riley? A little bouncing around like someone's here. Who's here, Roy? Okay. Get him, Roy. Hey, Vickery. You were not seeing all the comments. I guess I need the YouTube link. The one I tried was gone. I'm not sure. If you go on to my Facebook page, it should be linked there. Scroll, go down a few posts. Hey, wine mom. Salsa. I know he's sitting on the stoop. You don't love royal salsa. No, you don't. You don't care. Kitty Gins loves royal. He's a non-listening dog. Look. Come here. Come here, Riley. Come on. Right up. Listen to something. See his head moving? Who's here? Take note. He still doesn't come here. He walked on to do what he wants to hear. Walk by the garage and then do a figure eight and come back and sit by the stoop. Well, you don't care. Mm -hmm. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna walk. I gotta walk next door real fast to see if my mom got me a fucking pack of cigarettes. I hope she did because I'm out. I'll be shitty. I asked nicely. Watch Royal. Yeah, I was hoping it was my mom came up here and put a pack of cigarettes after. That's not the case. So I'm right back. Watch the house, Riley. Okay, he's at the door. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, you fucking bitch. Come on, 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 you fuc
kiss my ass. I'm sure it's some hater shit. And don't even say, I'm not a hater. Yes, you are. You make snide little comments, and I see that shit. Yes, I do. Go drink a Bud Light. <laughs> No, I like Marigold. I go with that song about flowers or something. You got a golden ticket? What's a golden ticket? I want a fucking golden ticket. <laughs> Where'd you get it at? Mike, you don't even pay your troll toll. And let's look at your life and see how many promises are broken or whatnot and beyond. Don't harass me. I'm a single, young woman trying to make it in this hard, ugly world. I don't need someone trying to make it harder on me. Fuck your comments. Don't fall in the chocolate river. I drink my way out of it. Chocolate, that is. Michael say something smart ass. I don't like <laughs> booze and chocolate mixed. So you saying you're oh okay, okay, Phoenix. I was lost there for a second. I was like, the fuck is she talking about? <laughs> I did not know at all. I do not have my light. My light is that oranges. Damn it. So I look like I'm in the shadows. I am. You were never a VIP, Mike. Nice try. That's what you just say. I knew everyone who was my VIP. Everyone had a code word. What was your code word? And I'll know exactly who you are. Anyone who signed up for my VIP got an email with a code word. And what was yours? It don't matter anymore. Let me see. No, let me see your receipts. Send them on over. Just saying it is one thing. Don't talk about it. Be about it. I want to see your fucking receipts. And I want to know your password. If you were a VIP, every VIP member had a password. What was yours? I will know because I gave the passwords out. And any credit with troll tolls expired in January. Sorry. We put out a disclaimer on that. Detroit's good. She's got her own place now. And she's got her own little place. Uh, her and baby D live there. She's got a boyfriend. She's working. It's funny because like a month or so ago, I get a call from her. It was like first thing in the morning. So I had to pick it up. I thought something was wrong, you know, because she don't usually call. She's a texter. And she's like, I want you to know I fucking hate you. As soon as I picked up the phone, I was like, hello. She's like, I just want you to know I fucking hate you. And I was like, why? What I do now? Thinking like I fucked up, did something. She was like, so, you know, I'm a delivery driver now. And there's been this place that I've been going to for a few months, every couple of weeks. And the girls in the office just like, look at me and everything. Well, today, one of them asked me, she goes, I don't, I don't know how she said it. But don't mean to be rude or whatever. She was like, but is your name Detroit? And she knew immediately. And then once she said, yes, they were like, oh my God, we've seen you, we watched you and shit. And it's like this farm, it's like a fucking doctor's office or whatever. So. Yeah, now she's going to feel awkward every time she goes in there. <laughs> like, what? Michigan loves me. Leave me alone.
No, Mike, I'm about to just block you because I don't want to deal with it anymore. Either be you and be good at it or don't even fucking come in here under a troll account. Phoenix, you're not here for that. You are not here for that. Who picks up B if he works until six every night? He goes to the neighbor's house. His best friend lives like four houses down. And then he has a couple of other friends in the neighborhood, but he always goes to the house four down, uh, houses down. And then once he gets home, that's why he goes home. Uh, first, he goes home, gets B, takes a shower, feeds him or whatever, eats. Uh, he'll either come get me. They'll, well, usually he's in the car. And uh, he'll come get me and then go back. And then B does his homework. Then he can play his game until bedtime. But when he gets off school, he goes to his friend's house and they play that fucking video game anyways. What is it? Uh, I think it's called Fort Fortville or Fortnite or sport shit. Something, something with a fort in it. And then another one. And that's what they do where they play basketball. And a lot of times now he's getting into sports and this mom, she, she doesn't work. She's a stay at home mom. So she'll end up just taking them to practice or whatever. And then when he gets off, he'll meet him at practice or wherever he's at. Yeah, it's Fort Town. Whatever in the pockets. I don't know. It's a video game. But they play that. And then um, he plays a lot of basketball. He likes basketball and soccer a lot and football. And both at his house and his friend's house, they have a basketball goal. So they do that. And I know for a fact they're starting to get ready for football. Because uh, once the dad gets home. I think the neighbor's dad is home a little bit earlier because they'll start running drills before practice or whatever. He gets them going. And then, like, they'll be there at the game. And then sometimes if, like, the neighbors want to do something, they'll go ahead and leave, um, like, at practice or whatever, or whatever they do. And then he'll watch him and the other one while they go do shit. So it goes back and forth. So whenever he's at, like, when I say sleepover, he's, like, four houses down. And sometimes, like, um, on the weekends, one night when I didn't go live, uh, it was because a little boy was over there, and they were having a sleepover, and I'm not going to, like, be live with another kid or anything, you know. Because I was good, working. <laughs> Supposed to agree with you on what? Yeah, he really likes sports and shit. Like, like he's really into soccer, football, and basketball. What, Dad? What? Yeah, and I'm live. What's up? No, I'm live. All right. You did? What'd he say? Yeah, did he get gas? Was he getting gas? Oh, okay. If you want to come in, Dad, that's fine. Royal's outside. I'm live, though. So be ready to be on camera. Can you hear him?
Are you coming in? Okay. I'm in the garage. Yeah, Royal's outside. It's fine. My dad's coming. All right, he's getting through the front door. I thought he was he coming or not. Oh, 